Is it live? Okay. So, um, I said something in my last video that I want to go into more detail about because, um, I, I think it's, uh, something that, you know, we obviously need to look deeper into and it's how to separate yourself from your memories, um, of ex-narcissists. This, this is how you would get the power to be able to look back on memories and, and remember things. Um, even if it's intrusive memories, that's okay. Intrusive thoughts. Um, but to be able to to look back on the memory, you know, and not um, have the rage come up in the moment and things like that. And and there's the holistic, uh, somatic ways of doing this, but this is going to be um, a mental exercise for you, for your mind. <clears throat> so what I want you to understand is that when you are, the issue is that when you look back on a memory and when you think of something that y'all went through, an argument you had with him or, or something he did to you and it makes you angry and it makes you, you know, in a rage and stuff like that, or it makes you depressed, it makes you sad, um, or makes you feel like you're lost or whatever, you start having all those bad feelings of that from remembering what happened. The issue is that you are still connecting yourself to that person that you were, to that woman you were in that episode, in that event, in that moment in time you still see yourself as that girl that he did those things to. And you still see yourself as, as that scared girl, that lost girl, that hurt girl, um, you know, the one who, who didn't feel good about herself, uh, didn't have boundaries, didn't know how to say no, felt trapped, didn't know how to, you know, get away from him, all those things that she was and all the things that she felt you still see yourself as, as that person with those same issues and with those same problems and, and same challenges. If you have gotten away from your ex-narcissist and you are no longer living under his roof and you are with someone else or in your own place, I want you to understand that you are no longer that, that girl that you were in that moment with him. You're not that person anymore. You've, you're separate from that now. The, the, the fact that you're still seeing yourself as who that was and you're still having those same feelings and you're still letting yourself feel that same way and you're still letting yourself feel defeated or feel violated or feel, you know, the torture that you felt in that moment, you're, you're still thinking that you're that person, but you're not. If you've gotten away from him and you're out of there and, and you are no longer, you know, romantically or whatever associated with him, if you can call it romantic, <laughs> you know, but you know what I mean? If that chapter of your life is over with and you've gotten away from him, you're, that's not who you are. That's not who you are now. You know, you're learning about your boundaries. You're learning about things you need to know about yourself. You're learning about your facets. You're learning about all your layers. You're learning about your inner child. You're learning about your boundaries and, and your morals and your values. You're learning about what you'll stand for and what you won't stand for. And you're learning about your, your divine essence and, and your inner power and things like that that matter. And all those, all those parts of yourself that you've neglected or not intentionally, but, you know, just like didn't have the guidance on or parts of yourself that you just didn't know how to meet, parts of yourself that you didn't know were there. You know, you just, you just haven't had the, the instruction. You haven't had the proper instruction yet from somebody who knows what they're doing and, and you haven't had the help. So there's a lot about yourself that you didn't know at that time, but you're learning it now. You know, especially if you're in my world right now, you're learning a lot. And <clears throat> you're, you're having awakenings, you know, all the time about yourself. Learning how to love yourself, learning how to respect yourself, and learning how to carry yourself in such a way that you let other people know um, that they need to damn respect you too. You know what I'm saying? So who you are right now and the progress you've made, the lessons you've learned, the realizations you've had, the breakthroughs you've had, those things matter. And I think what the issue is that is is that you're not you have not given yourself credit for those things. You still think you're that lost, hurt, confused girl in the past who didn't know how to say no, you know, couldn't stand up to him, whatever else. But that's not who you are now. You it's time for you to start giving yourself credit for the shit you've done, the progress you've made the realizations you've had, the truths you've realized about yourself, the things you've learned about yourself, the lessons, you know, the, the deeper healing that levels that you've reached within yourself, the things you've explored, meeting your inner child, 
um, aligning with your values and, and what's important to you and aligning with um, who you really want to be and embodying who you really want to be and embodying your future self and, and your um, ideal life and, and your ideal self. And stuff. So you, you're on your way to those things and you're on that path right now. And because you haven't given yourself credit for those things and you haven't given yourself credit for the progress you've made, not like you should, you know, the, uh, and, and you haven't given yourself credit for the things you've learned and, and your maturity level that you've reached your emotional maturity, you know, you're, you're more wily and you're more cunning. Now you're smarter now. And, um, and just like, you know, and you take better care of yourself. You know, you take safety precautions now that you didn't do before. That's wise. You know, women don't, shouldn't have to do those things, but because of the world we live in, we have to, we don't have a choice, but you're doing those things. And that's smart of you to do that. So you need to start patting yourself on the back a little bit for the things that you've done since you've gotten away from him. You've done a lot. You're careful with your money. You're careful with who you associate with. You're careful about your children's safety, you know, maybe more so than you were before. You, you're just, you know, you're paying attention to every move you make. And, and, uh, you know, and it's okay to judge every, mu every movement you make. Well, maybe not every movement you make, but you know, it's okay to judge yourself here and there, but in a healthy way, not in a hurtful way. You know, don't be cruel to yourself. Judge yourself as in like, every time you do something important, you say, now, is this really going to help me? Is this helpful? Is it helpful? <clears throat> and, and to ask yourself questions like that, that will bring yourself enlightenment and bring yourself clarity on where you are and, and bridge the gap between where you are and where you want to be and get clear on who you want to be and, and what it's going to take to get there. So all the, see all these things that you've thought about, you've made progress. You've made so much progress since leaving him. But you have to give yourself credit for that shit. Cause so far you've been like, well, you know, you know what, whatever, whatever you've been thinking, but it's not enough. You need to say, no, damn it. I've done a lot. I've done a lot since I got away from him. I'm, I'm eating better, you know, I'm taking better care of myself, I'm, I'm in a safer environment, I made sure I got in a safer environment, um, I'm, I'm tighter about things, you know, I pay attention to legal things, I've learned legal stuff along the way, because, you, you know, whatever, you had to know some your rights or whatever, all that stuff, all that tweaking you've done, you know, to, to, to better yourself, to make your life better, um, all of that, you know, you, you've done so much. So to start giving yourself credit for what you've done is a really big step that you, you know, need to take right now. And, um, you know, and, and to, and to, you know, let yourself breathe a little bit, let yourself breathe into the progress you've made. Let yourself breathe into the lessons you've learned. Let yourself breathe into this new you that you are now. You're a whole new you. You're a completely new you now. And in a year, you're going to be another new you who's made even more progress and learned more things and gone even deeper into the healing. You know, every, every day is another chance for you to, to know more and learn more and do more and experience more and see more and learn more and, you know, and, and, uh, taste the nectar and become the nectar and whatever the hell else you want to call it. You know, it's like you, you've done so much and you need to pat yourself on the back and be like, you know what? Yeah, hell yeah, I did that. Should. I know women have a hard time with that. That's called wounded feminine. And, um, and like I say, I, I did a self paced course on that. If that's something you're interested in, like getting rid of the, the programming that women get that, that hurts them so much. You know, if that's something you want to look into, I highly suggest healing the wounded feminine self paced course on my website. Check it out. That, that will solve a lot of problems for you. And it, it just, I, in that course, I explored everything that women would need to know about like the worldwide stuff all of us deal with all the things we're taught that are just bullshit, you know? So if that's something you want to look into, I, I highly suggest you get Healing the Wounded Feminine because that is a very deep and very heartfelt and very um, eye-opening. And it's going to help you retrain your brain to just release all that bullshit programming that isn't helpful and start over fresh with self-empowerment, clarity, and confidence. You know, especially confidence. That's huge. <clears throat> and, and once you do that, you know, you'll be in control of your life and you won't be worried about what men think or how you look or any of that shit. You know, it still helps to, to look good, but it's good for you. It help you, you it'll help you feel good about yourself, not, you know, screw everybody's opinion. You know, that's not why we do it anyway. Women don't even dress up for men. We dress up for each other, right? So, you know, um, don't worry about 
all the, you, you can drop all that stuff. But, um, like I say, that, that course has been popping up for me a lot lately in my thoughts. So I wonder if, um, you know, somebody has found it who really needs it. But, um, <clears throat> so when it comes to giving yourself credit for things, once you do that, it, you will see and you get used to like actually patting yourself on the back for things, you're going to see that you're not who you were before because the old you wouldn't have done all that. The old you didn't feel good enough to do that about herself. And the old you, you know, as, as much as she served her purpose, um, she, she, she operated, you know, in that time for, for what it was worth and did what she and made her contribution, that version of you, and then it was over with. So that, that chapter of your life is closed. So there's no reason for you to still be relating to that girl because you're not her anymore. You see what I mean? That that That's ended now. You're in a whole new chapter now. You're in a whole new phase. So this requires a whole new you, which you're doing. So when you look at yourself and you say, well, shit, you know, um, I, I've done all this. I, I, look how far I've come. Look how much progress I've made. Look how, look how much better I'm feeling, you know, about life. And, and you have more determination about things. You have more discipline for yourself. You know, you've taken better care of your body. You've got a better mindset. <clears throat> You're more focused on your goals, things like that. All those things matter. And, and you need to sit back and say, yeah, you know, I've done a lot. So that is how, you know, basically that's how you separate yourself from who you were. And, and once you do that, you'll realize that your, your feelings separate because you're just not who she was. You're not reliving it if you're not the same person. Um, there are people who, who do horrible things to other people, like, you know, they kill somebody or, or whatever, and that person, you know, whether they go to prison or not, you know, if, if they have any sense about them, some time will go by and they'll realize what they did wrong, and there will come a day when they look back on it and they're like, yeah, you know, and you'll hear them say it too. They'll be like, yeah, you know, I know I did that, and I, I felt awful about it, and, and I, I hate myself for it, and blah, blah. Um, you know, but I'm, I'm just not that person anymore. I'm changed now and I would never, and the person that I am now would never do that. If somebody who has killed somebody can say that about themselves, you can say it about somebody treating you like shit and making you feel bad about yourself. You're allowed to say that. <laughs> do you see what I mean? Like, there's no reason for you to be holding your ba yourself back from things like that. Do you know what I mean? Like, so you deserve it. And, um... I think that's all I wanted to say about that. It's just that just how to separate yourself from, from that old you so that you can just move on and, and not be held back, you know, emotionally by those memories and those past events and stuff like that, because that that's, um, you don't need to be living in some prison of, of, uh, still feeling hurt and stuff like that. You're way beyond that, way beyond that. So it's time to give yourself some credit and just say, Look at how far I've come, and, and even though I've got a long way to go, I'm still look at look at how far I've come, and and realize and give yourself credit for who you are now and how amazing you are, and how much you've learned and how much you've grown and and how much, and how how beautiful your growth and your healing is and your progress by this point. Um, and, and to and to love that and love yourself for that, and and show yourself some love and some compassion and, uh, and acceptance and approval, you know, some self approval, uh, will, will go a long way for you if you just let yourself have that gift. So, um, I think that's all I got for that. It's just something I thought of. I said it in the last video and I was like, this needs to be its own video. Cause it's a deep, cause that's something I had to learn. And, and I had to learn it alone, you know, without a mentor at that time. That was before I started like getting people, uh, to, to help me transform, you know, that's what I'm still kind of doing on my own, but I did figure it out. So, but it helps if you have somebody who actually helps you transform and, and <laughs> somebody who can really walk you through it and show you the steps and, and hold you, you know, in a, in a sacred space as you learn about yourself and learn about your facets and, and your powers and, and, um, you know, the deep power that you have and, and your beautiful, divine essence and, and to be able to see yourself for who and what you really are and and know that nothing can really hold you back you know once you shift into that mindset you're unstoppable after that you know fucking narcissist that's that's just a thing of the past he'll just be a blip in your history once you start tapping into you know your real power and um <clears throat>
And I think that's it for that. That's all I wanted to say. So um, I may start recording um, in the Facebook group from my phone because I'm able to save it in the group instead of it getting deleted after 30 days. So I think I'm going to do that from now on instead of using my laptop. And um, and that was it for now. So I just wanted to get that out there and, and clarify that for y'all. And uh, I hope y'all have had a good Thanksgiving. And um, I hope you have a good weekend. And as usual, you know, if you have any questions, please reach out to me. And that's it for now. So um, I'll see y'all later. Bye-bye.